Your healthcare provider has ordered lung volume recruitment, also called breath stacking. Breath stacking expands your child's lungs and may improve their ability to cough, speak, and eat. It may also help move secretions and lower the risk of illness. To give a treatment, start by cleaning your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand gel. Clean your work surface with soap and water or a disinfecting wipe. Gather the equipment and supplies you need, a cough assist device, tubing, a filter, an adapter, non-sterile gloves if you want to wear gloves, a patient interface such as a mouthpiece, face mask, or trach tube adapter, and a nose clip if needed. For this video, we'll be using a face mask. If the patient uses a suction machine, gather the machine and supplies. Put on the non-sterile gloves if you want to wear gloves. Gloves are not required for this treatment. Check to make sure suction supplies are prepared and ready for use, and that the machine is working properly. Connect the filter to the tubing. Then, attach it to the cough assist device. Put the adapter, then the mask, on the other end of the tubing. Turn on the cough assist device. Check that the settings on the device match those prescribed by the healthcare provider. When breath stacking, only a positive inhalation pressure is set. To check if the device is working, press the Therapy or Start button and block the end of the tubing or cover the mask with your hand. You should see only positive pressures on the display screen. Once you see positive pressure breaths, the check is complete. Push the Standby or Pause button. If your child can communicate, figure out a signal that they can use if they need to stop the session. Put the mask over your child's mouth and nose. Make sure their chin is up and the mask forms a tight seal on the face. You can also use a mouthpiece and nose clip. Put the mouthpiece into your child's mouth and the nose clip on their nose. The nose clip prevents air from leaking during the treatment. If your child has a trach tube, attach the adapter to the trach tube. If it's a cuffed trach tube, check your child's care plan. Breath stacking usually requires that the cuff be inflated to maintain pressure in the airway. If your child is able, ask them to hold their breath as long as it is comfortable between each breath. When they exhale, ask them to use the air to cough. Push the therapy or start button to start the session. Allow the device to give the prescribed number of breaths, usually three to five breaths in a row. This is one cycle. Press the standby or pause button at the end of the cycle. Most children receive three to five cycles twice a day. Monitor your child's color, heart rate, and comfort level during the cycles. If your child experiences dizziness, high heart rate, or chest pain, stop the therapy. If symptoms continue during the next cycle, contact the healthcare provider. Allow your child to rest and breathe normally for 30 seconds to one minute between cycles. Your child may cough or need to be suctioned during this time. Repeat the cycles followed by a rest period as prescribed by the healthcare provider. When the therapy session is complete, push the standby button, then turn off the device. Encourage your child to breathe deeply and cough if they can. Use the suction machine to clear secretions from the trach tube or back of the throat if needed. Clean cough assist tubing and supplies regularly to prevent respiratory infection. Refer to instructions from your equipment provider, healthcare provider, and the product manufacturer to learn how.